check it out, man. I got my buddy Paul back. Hi, guys. He's back in Colorado. I've been giving him a ride quite a few times this week, the recent couple weeks. So I thought I would just have a little chat, see what he's doing these days, how, how he's surviving this motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm just curious, you know. Yeah. How, no, by all means. How you fucking do, man? I know you. You said you, you got a spot up by Ned. Um, right now I normally don't like to sleep in this area. It's fucking uh, been raining in the last few days. Rain. That's not makes it tough. Not really. No. No. Being wet. Uh, being wet's okay. Being cold is okay. Being wet and cold that kills. But if you have a spot that you know you're gonna be dry reasonably warm at you could you could do okay the last popper we had in Ned right not the last one the one before that though I get drenched my raincoat is uh, needs to be rewaterproof so I'm already wet and miserable right this shit sucks uh. so but I'm like I get to my spot just and I'm like I'm gonna be okay and I get there and a bear or something I'm hope I'm hoping it's a bear but uh my shit's trashed, my tarp, everything's wet, and I'm like, oh man, this is gonna be a shitty night. So I used what hand warmers I had on hand, and uh, used my body heat to uh, dry out a sleeping bag, but uh, that was uh, not my roughest night, but when you're thinking you're gonna be in the warm, and you're not. <laughs> That's gotta be rough, man. Yeah, no, I tried yeah. doing negative 30 out here, yeah. or anywhere else. Shit, I was through uh, three or four major ice storms in uh, Arkansas, yeah, wow. last winter. So yeah, that's, so you find your spot every night and you gotta, you gotta like, commute back and forth to Boulder every day, it seems like. Well, I don't have to, but I do, trying to find a J-O-B, but... Unfortunately, the world has scarred me, and I've been stung by too many people. Uh, so I, I don't really like to work for people that I think will take advantage of my physical and mental uh, attributes. Huh. I'm a bit biased, but I think they're I think they're pretty uh, above average. But, you know, <laughs> yeah, it kind of reminds me of this guy I watched on YouTube named Travis Hines. He's kind of the same way, man. He just can't work for people, man. He doesn't. A serious problem with authority. People telling him what to do. He's just it's like some kind of mental condition, you know. But you know, I can understand it. Well, it's not so much as authority is what authority will do with your abilities. So what else do you do besides look for work when you can't find any? Um, I hang out. Hang out. Uh, I break up a lot of fights. I volunteer at. Do you have work. A, say what? Do you have any other like ways of getting money? I don't beg. Don't beg. That's no, I don't beg. Well, okay. Sometimes in the morning I might ask for that dollar uh -huh. for a coffee. So how, how often do people help you out? Uh, pretty often. Um, even if I'm on the road uh, or if I'm in town, because a lot of people know that I that I'm an honest person and I do a lot for the community. They would rather have me work, but. I've worked for a few places in this area and I was taken advantage of overworked and underpaid. I mean everybody, it happens to everybody, uh, yeah. but I don't have kids. Me neither. So I I can afford to uh, go hungry. Live and... this lifestyle of yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The outdoorsman lifestyle. I mean, say it's a choice, but all the other you choices know, that are presented to me, I... I it's not, not the worst not... fucking choice in my book, man. You, you know... You got a lot more freedom than a lot of other people do, man. You know, it's like freedom so for all the all the fucking shit that you gotta go through. But at least you know you have the freedom to do what the fuck you want to do every day. You know, instead of having to go to a fucking job and be a slave to somebody. See that that's the problem. There's too many. There's everybody wants to 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 take advantage of somebody's mental and sweat equity without giving them a fair shake. Everybody has the right a fair shake of their mental and physical uh, mental and physical attributes and, and not a lot of that's going on you, you bust your ass off so your boss can get a new fucking car exactly. at the end of the year and it's like <laughs> why i can totally relate with that 
Yeah, we all can. I can't afford. You know, I bust my ass every day. I put got to commute back and forth to Boulder. It's not easy, man, to get up and do what I do every day. No, I'm not complaining about it, you know. But you know, it's just a whole different lifestyle, you know. But yeah, I was. I work, and enough people know me, and they know that I work hard and I do the best. Yeah, sometimes you get like day jobs and shit. Yeah, that's cool. Anyways, yeah. But yeah, that's what I do, man. You know, every day I go out there and I and I fucking barely survive, man. It sucks, man. You know, I should be getting ahead in life, but I'm barely fucking surviving. You know, that's just the way it is. So the way our economy is, we talk about how great it all is, but you know, no one's really getting ahead except for the people on top. All the rest of us are just running on our rat wheels, like I like to say. But anyways, yeah, I just thought I'd do a little interview with Paul this morning since I talk to him every day when I pick him up for a ride so I thought you guys might be a little interested in what he had to say and I haven't really asked him much about his lifestyle and shit so yeah it would be interesting so yeah we're gonna end it on that note thanks for talking to us Paul yeah you're welcome thanks for uh, hearing some of the things <laughs> I have to say yeah maybe we'll do it again in the future perhaps you guys have thanks for watching we'll talk to you guys soon <laughs> that should be good